Hey, what's up guys? Justin from Out of the Basement here, and today I'm going to do another Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch action figure review. This time, we're going to be doing number 67 in the Black Series of Red and Black Box line, and that is Forlom. I've been waiting for this figure for such a long time, and I'm so glad that it is finally here for me to not only enjoy myself, but to review for you guys as well. So starting off with the box, you know, it's your pretty standard Black Series packaging. It says Forlom right there. You got a nice profile shot. Here is a picture of the back with the description. If you'd like to read that, go ahead and pause it there and read it. Now, number one, just general basic looks right out of the packaging. He looks absolutely amazing, but let's get more into detail. We'll start off with this blaster right here. It's a heavy blaster, but as you can see, there is absolutely no paint whatsoever absolutely no paint on here it is just gray plastic which it doesn't bother me that much but you know come on there could have been a little bit of silver in there a little bit more detail let's move on so now to the figure himself just look at this detail look at the eyes the eyes are what is catching my attention right now it's like a weird golden and black color I really like the paint that they chose for the overall black. It looks very old. You can see that he looks old and rusty. He's supposed to look like that because that's how he's seen in Empire Strikes Back. You could totally tell that all throughout his body, there's a nice black and rusty detail in there. Especially like down here, there's a lot of rust. And there's a lot of different lines and... You know, just stuff you, that you would expect to find on a droid. You know, he has that little connector piece that connects his bicep to his forearm like that. Does have the trigger finger right there. And of course, there is that nice little splotch of red paint there, which is screen accurate. I absolutely love this silver right here where his mouthpiece is, his or her. I don't know what gender this is, actually. If you look at the back, there's more sculpting detail right there. You know, more rust and just... I don't know what you call those things on droids, but you know, you got your little squigglies down here, your wiring, which you also have that at the front. And I just love all the little gears and gizmos that this guy has on him, including, you know, that little piece right there. And there's just so much detail, even in the hands, that awesome detail. Really love that little belly piece, centerpiece right there as well. And just overall, I would say the detail, the paint is absolutely stunning on the actual figure although just to remind you there is no paint on the actual weapon itself so let's get into the articulation here he can look up that far look down that far which is not really at all honestly the elbows do oh, i guess they do they kind of goes up you, there's like a slit right there where that little piece can go into but it is not a whole lot it's basically just like that same thing with the other hand or arm and this hand is a trigger finger and this hand is a gripping which he holds his gun perfectly his blaster there is a little bit of ab crunch but as you can see you know not that much the legs will kick that far they will go not really far back at all the knee is only single jointed i thought it would have been double jointed you do also get kind of a swivel there not that much and the feet do go down like that up and of course like all the black series he has ankle pivot and of course peg holes at the bottom of his feet all right my final thoughts guys i'm not gonna lie to you the articulation is pretty hindered but then again he is just a droid you know very similar articulation to the c3po that we've had in the black series line so the articulation is hindered, but he's just a cool looking bounty hunter droid that is going to look cool on the shelf anyway with a pose just like this. So I don't think it matters as much as the paint and detail in this case, which is absolutely amazing. I love the attention to detail and I love the paint apps. And there's a little bonus for you with the eyes. There's a bonus. Okay, if you have a light like something like this i don't think it has to be like a bright super bright led light but this is a super bright led light so i apologize that this is not going to be the best demonstration but as you can see if you shine a light through the back of his head 
his eyes do glow green just like that which is absolutely amazing and it is what i consider the icing on the cake for this figure yeah overall it is an absolutely essential figure yeah the articulation is hindered but it's just supposed to go with all the other empire strikes back bounty hunters in the standard vanilla pose just like that you guys are all gonna buy it anyway i know this is like a super elusive figure at the moment it's pretty expensive on amazon and ebay but if you do manage to find one for a reasonable price definitely pick this one up anyway guys that was the video if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe leave a comment telling me what other black series figures you guys have picked up recently i've been justin from out of the basement have a nice day